813 and new for you this morning. One upstate university. They're celebrating the Day of the Dead and it's going to feature an altar exhibit, a mariachi band, food trucks, children's activities, and then a screening of the movie Coco. Oh, exciting times. Fox Carolina's own Lindsay Gibbs is live this morning with the meaning behind the holiday. That's right, and it's all about the decorations and the spirit that you put into it, like the space painting that you're going to be able to do tonight at the event. Now, I'm here alongside Melissa. You've been working on my face, uh, making it into a skull like the ones that we have behind us. Now, tell us a little bit about you know, why we do this for the event. So this is a wonderful event. Uh, my dad is from Mexico City, so this is a wonderful opportunity that even though I'm far away from him, I'm able to connect with him via our tradition. So the reason why we do this is not only to celebrate our dearly departed, but to remember them in life, not in death. So even though a lot of people might consider this a Mexican Halloween, uh, this is actually a series of days that helps us remember our loved ones. Right, right. And you can keep working on me while we just sure. chat back and forth. So we were talking a little bit about, you know, all of the decorations that really go into this. And the altars especially, we were talking about what we used to put on our altars mm -hmm. as kids when we celebrated the Day of the Dead. So tell us a little bit about the significance of the altars and what you would put on yours. Sure. Uh, so our altars are called ofrendas. And what happens is that anything that's near and dear to our dearly departed gets put on the altar. So for example, my grandfather was a very huge coffee drinker. So I always make a freshly brewed cup of coffee for my grandfather and I put it on the ofrenda and that helps his spirit whenever he, our belief is that they come down to visit us, he's able to take that coffee and enjoy a little bit of the earthly delights that he's left behind. Mm -hmm, right, and this is celebrated a lot. Um, it started in Mexico, now throughout kind of Latin culture, um, especially here in the United States, it's really grown and, and the upstate as well. This is Clemson's fifth year doing the Day of the Dead Festival. It's starting tonight at six. So tell us a little bit about what's gonna be featured there and what people are gonna be able to see and experience. Sure, so this is the first time that we, specifically the Bob and Betsy Campbell Museum of Natural History, uh, uh, we are involved this year so they're going to be showing coco which i will not be attending because it just it brings a tear to mine in a good way mm -hmm. uh, but we will be having ofrendas so people can come and bring pictures of their loved ones even their pets are allowed mm -hmm. and they can put them up on the altars from six to nine and there will be music so we'll have mariachi playing in the background and yeah i hope everybody comes in there will be food trucks. Oh, yes. So we're very excited for that as well. Well, thank you so much for being here. And, of course, admission is free. Anyone can go, and children are involved as well. Of course, uh, we have all that information inside of our Fox Carolina News app. For now, in Clemson, Lindsay Gibbs, Fox Carolina News.